Yo, what's going on, Dog Squad? Today we're checking out Snowplow Simulator, and I'm currently like I'm I'm impressed so far. We we literally just got in here, and they're giving you a rundown of what early access and full release would be. So the truck is currently unavailable. It's a level of progress control support. It's coming, but keyboard and mouse only. Um, errors. They're currently fixing a bunch of errors. The jagged edges. They're working on it. Uh, pickup tools. So your truck currently working on that too. Fuel, that's coming. New tools, also coming. Tire wear, almost done. Tool wear, pretty much there. And then thieves. I'm not a big fan of games with thieves. I think it kind of like brings an element of realism, but also annoyance. But anyway, let's jump into it and see what this game's all about. Here we are in our office. The map. That's the map. Nothing crazy. There we are here. Buy ourselves one of those, I guess. Tires, good. Plows, we don't have any clothes. We're already wearing it. All right, here are the power ups. So we got some sodas, oranges. Okay. So we do have a little level of uh, survival, I guess. Description of the job. Clear the path of the entrance at your office. I'd also say like to uh, thank the developers for a key. Um, when developers do that, they allow me to review games nicely, easily without breaking the bank. And I can give you guys my honest review on them. I don't have to, these aren't sponsored things. These are just like legitimate straight up reviews. And, and I, I love that. Come on bro, 1%, let's go. There it is. I got no money for that. You harassed me for that? Get out of this damn gate, man. Hey, my car. Hell yeah. Have to pass the levels at the garage first. God damn it. All right, here we go. Yeah, a little bit easier. Okay. Uh, one thing I would like to add is potentially to see multiplayer in the future. I don't know. I feel like simulation games are much funner with people. Whether it will come, whether it won't. That's the question, but I feel like it's, it's always a lot funner with people. There is survival elements to this, but because we're playing it on casual, like super easy, we're, uh, we're missing out on all those. Only because I want to check out the game and see what it's all about. How do I push that off the wall here? I'm gonna have to have to use that shovel to push it out for sure. This does make it easier to hit those lines, I guess. We push it a little bit further out. Should give us a little bit of extra room to move. One of the benefits of being on easy is you just get to push snow. <laughs> See, where I live in Australia, we don't have snow. So this to me is just all, all new. That is a huge pile. I don't know how annoying it is to actually push snow in real life or, or what, but this, this is fun. It's just mind numbing fun. You just come in, push snow and that's it. Like that's it. Something flashed in the snow. I'm sure we'll find it. Okay, so they have mastered the uh, manipulation of the ground, snow. Like, if you look at this, you got actual footprints. That's cool. Where's a key? Probably to unlock the gate.
I a key to a private room? Locker. Selective elements. No idea what that is. Ooh. Book of my story. Yeti table. Wait, is a Yeti? Man, is this a conspiracy game? Sign me up, bro. Man, where are your gloves? You're gonna freeze to death, bro. Let's see if I can't scoop all this up. Damn it. All right, can I hook that around? There we go. Oh, whatever, man. You ain't that close. Yep. I'm just going to yeet that into the middle of nowhere. Like, shouldn't that just, I don't know. And then this big chunk of snow right here. Come on, what is happening here? Little perfectionist wizard. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Cool. I've garage done. Here we go. Okay, easy enough. The fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Where I must love Las Vegas. Like trying to get back in your house, bro. Boom. Okay, I wonder if I could just like. This is helping to plate it at all. It's not technically there, right? Oh, well. Uh, I'm sorry, what? That's not the mountain I had. Blizzardy. I assume if I was on difficult, the uh, blizzard would actually affect me. Okay, so we end up having clients, which is super nice. The better the job you do, the more clients you have. Makes sense. Nice repetitive gameplay. Oh, check out what's new at the store. All right, you don't have to tell me twice. What do we got? Oh, clothes. Okay, convenience, durability, some power ups.
Okay, so we just got basically a new close, uh, new thing to close. Map, wherever you go. Cleared of snow. Okay, that's handy. So these are the areas that you have that have snow. That's cool. So this has been Snowplow Simulator. If I had to give it a number, I would probably give it a solid six in early access. There's a lot of replayability. You obviously just plow snow, but there seems to be a mystery to uncover, which is cool. It's a nice little feature. I would like to see multiplayer added, but in saying that, it is not a bad game. It's definitely one of them games where you just turn off and just plow and do all that fun stuff. Again, it's still in early access, so that six could eventually be something different. It kind of held your hand, not like some other games I've played, which is super nice, kind of gives you the idea. Great introduction. I love how they broke down what they were going to add to the game, what is still needed in work, and then just dump you in the game and leave you with all the bugs to figure it out by yourself. I love this. Only thing I could say is multiplayer, and that's kind of about it. Graphically, it's okay. The game concept is snow plow. It's exactly what you expect. We've played some other very mundane games on here, so this isn't too far fetched. I love how it snows and then clients need their houses replowed. That's snow plow simulator in early access. You can get this game in the link in the description. And thank you all so much for watching. Peace.